All right, let's talk about ExoCAD. We all know it's an absolute powerhouse, right? But here's the thing, all that power means nothing if your computer can't keep up. So today, we're gonna cut through all the technical jargon and figure out exactly what kind of PC you need to run it smoothly in 2026. My goal, to make this whole decision way, way simpler for you. So, let me ask you something, and be honest, does your workday sometimes feel like you're fighting your computer more than you're actually designing? You know, you're just staring at loading bars, holding your breath, praying that this incredibly complex design doesn't crash right before you save? Yeah, if that sounds familiar, you're definitely not alone. It's the classic story of amazing software being held back by a machine that just can't handle it. You know the feeling, right? That laggy, choppy navigation when you're trying to rotate a model, the forever it takes for a big case to load, or the worst, when everything just freezes solid right in the middle of a complex bridge design. Well, here's the thing. Those aren't really ExoCAD problems. Nope, those are hardware problems. It's a bottleneck, and your computer is literally choking the performance out of the software, costing you time and, let's be real, a lot of frustration. Okay, but the good news is there is a super straightforward fix for all this. And you know what? I'm not gonna bury the lead. Let's get right to it. We're gonna jump straight to what I call the 2026 sweet spot, the ideal perfectly balanced setup that's gonna work wonders for most dental labs and clinics out there. All right, check this out. The keyword for this setup is balance. This isn't about buying the most ridiculously expensive machine on the market. It's about being smart. We're looking at a solid modern processor, like an Intel Core i7 or an AMD Ryzen 7. We've got 32 gigs of RAM, which is plenty for multitasking. And then the heavy hitters, a real graphics card, like an NVIDIA RTX 3060 or 4060, and a super fast one terabyte NVMe SSD for storage. This right here, this is the perfect intersection of performance and value. So what does all that tech speak actually mean for your day to day? Well, it means you can have multiple cases open at once without your computer crying for help. It means you can throw high-resolution scans at it, and it won't even flinch. It means add-ons like partial CAD will actually run smoothly. The bottom line is simple. You spend way less time waiting and way more time actually designing. It's about having a calmer, more productive day because your technology is finally an ally, not an obstacle. Okay, so out of all those parts we just listed, I wanna zero in on two of them. Because honestly, if you're gonna prioritize your budget anywhere, it has to be here, the graphics card and the storage drive. Why these two? Simple, they make the biggest, most noticeable difference in how ExoCAD feels and performs every single day. Let's start with the graphics card, the GPU. This is, this is the big one, here's why. ExoCAD is a 3D program, right? So every time you move a model, the computer is frantically drawing millions and millions of tiny triangles to show it to you. That's the GPU's job. And let me tell you, the difference between a proper, dedicated graphics card, like one of those NVIDIA RTX cards, and the basic, built-in graphics that come with some computers, it's not even a competition. It is literally night and day. It's the difference between a smooth, fluid experience and a choppy, frustrating mess. So I want to be crystal clear about this, and all the official advice says the same thing. Do not skimp on the graphics card. It is the most important part for making the software actually feel responsive. You want to spin that full arch case around without a single stutter? You need a good GPU. It's not a nice to have. For this kind of work, it's an absolute necessity. All right, component number two, your storage. Let's just put it this way. In this day and age, using an old school spinning platter hard drive for professional work is like trying to race a Formula One car with bicycle wheels. It's the biggest bottleneck. A modern NVMe SSD is just ridiculously faster. Think about it. Would you rather open a huge case file in five seconds or 50 seconds? That's the kind of real world difference we're talking about. And you feel that every single time. So the takeaway here is simple. An SSD isn't optional anymore. It's not an upgrade. It's just the baseline standard for any computer that's used for serious work. Seriously, just think about all those little pockets of waiting time throughout the day adding up. A fast drive gives you all that time back. It adds up, believe me. Now, look, that sweet spot build we talked about, it's gonna be perfect for the vast majority of you. But, of course, not everyone's needs are the same. What if you're doing really light work? Or what if you're on the other end of the spectrum, running a massive lab and pushing ExoCAD to its absolute breaking point every day? Well, let's talk about how to tweak these recommendations for your specific situation. The first step is to just ask yourself, what does my typical day really look like? 
Am I mostly knocking out single crowns, pretty straightforward stuff? Or am I a power user, diving deep into full arch implant restorations with these enormous heavy scan files? Being honest about that is going to tell you whether that sweet spot build is just right, or if you need to shift up or down a gear. And this kind of lays it all out. Over on the left, you've got the absolute bare minimum. And look, will it run? Yeah, probably, but for very light use only. I really wouldn't recommend trying to build a business on that. Then on the right, you've got the beast, the professional setup for really heavy workloads. We're talking top tier i9 or Ryzen 9 CPUs, 64 gigs of RAM or even more, and a seriously powerful graphics card to chew through those giant cases. So the question is, where on this spectrum do you live? Okay, another huge decision point, laptop versus desktop. The question is, do you need to take your work with you? If you're going chairside or moving between different offices, then a really powerful laptop can be an amazing tool. The one thing to watch out for is cooling. Make sure it's built to handle heavy loads without slowing down. But if your machine is going to live in the lab, a desktop is almost always the smarter choice. You get more performance for your money, way better cooling, and it's so much easier to upgrade a part or two in the future. All right, I know that was a lot of info, so let's boil it all down. Let's create a super simple, easy to remember checklist, something you can just pull up on your phone or keep in mind when you're looking at a new computer. Here we go, your five point checklist. Number one, make sure you've got 64 bit windows. That's non negotiable. Two, RAM. Do not go below 32 gigabytes. Just don't. Three, graphics. It has to be a dedicated card with at least eight gigs of its own memory. Four, storage. An NVMe SSD. No excuses, no old school hard drives. And finally, number five, this is a practical one a lot of people forget. Make sure it has enough fast USB ports for your scanner, your 3D mouse, all your gadgets. If you can check off all five of those, you are good to go. And really, that's the big idea I want you to walk away with. This is not about finding the most expensive machine you can afford. It's about finding a balanced one. A system where the processor, the memory, the graphics card, and the storage all complement each other. That harmony between the components, that's the secret sauce to a smooth, productive, and honestly, much less stressful work day. So let me just leave you with this question to think about. How much more could you get done? How much more creative could you be if your technology just disappeared? I mean, if it just got out of the way and let you work? Because that's the whole point, isn't it? To have a tool that's so seamless you forget it's even there. A tool that lets you focus 100% on your actual craft, creating amazing, precise dental work for your patients. When your computer just works, that's when you can truly do your best work.